Hey guys, welcome to another episode, or as you might know it, part four of the Wyoming strike mission. We just finished ice fishing for the day, and we're just getting ready to go throw spinning rods at a bend in the river, these Rapalas that Rapala actually sent us. I'm not going to spoil it, but we end up getting into some brown trout. Make sure you guys stay tuned to see the largest one I've ever caught towards the end of this episode. Other than that, make sure you guys subscribe for future episodes so you don't miss out on the action. We really appreciate your support. Stay tuned, because we're getting right into it. All right, guys, as you can see, we're on a rocky, bumpy road, and we're heading back out to the highway. And I've mentioned it, but we're going to go throw a few lures on the spinning rod, uh, some Rapalas that Rapala sent us, and see if we can't maybe get a brown trout out of the river. All right, guys, so we just grabbed a little box with a few lures and our little spinning rod, and we're going to approach this little section of the river really close over here. We're going to try this Rapala that they sent us and see if we can't get something in this little section. I've heard there's a deep hole right there, so hopefully it's true, and hopefully there's a few fish sitting in it. All right, first cast. Let's see what happens. We're gonna get a little closer to the spot where they said there was a deep hole and I see some current ripping. So let's see what that does. Oh, we got one. Fish on guys. Yeah, baby. Looks like we might've snagged him. No, he's hooked in the mouth. It's a brown. Let's hope we can get a bigger one, but dang, I'm stoked right now, guys. Hell yeah. Yeah, buddy, we got him. Let's go ahead and let him go. Wait till he kicks. There he goes, guys. So we only got about 30 minutes to fish here before we got to kind of run to get to that dinner. So let's see what we can make happen here. Super stoked I got one. Let's hope for Big Papa. Got one. Ooh, look at him blowing up out there, guys. What? Look at him out there exploding. Sick. He's blasting the surface, guys. Doing cartwheels. Beautiful fish. Looks like another brown. He's coming in close. Yep, another brown about the same size. Maybe a little bigger than the last one. Let's go ahead and try and land him. Another beautiful brown, guys. Look at that fish. I'm so pumped right now. All right, we got him on hook. Check him out, guys. What a beautiful freaking fish. I'm so stoked right now. I love this. All right, guys, there's the second one. We're going to go ahead and let him go. There he goes. Feeling him kicking. Number two's been released. Let's see if we can get a third. had a crazy cast and I'm stuck in a branch bad oh I broke him off Nick if you're watching this lost lure count one I uh, I cast it into a tree all extra excited let's get this guy on and get back out there come on big Papa Brown oh that feels like a good one. Oh, I lost him no if I catch one more, I promise I'm leaving because I don't want to be late to dinner. And we're getting pretty close to that time. No luck, we got to get out of here. All right guys, so as you just got to see, the spinning worked. I hit that little corner of the river with the spinning rod, the Rapalas, and ended up getting two browns pretty quick, lost the third. I got slammed, I think it was a nice fish. Now we're gonna haul butt over to Mark's house and get that elk dinner going. So don't go anywhere because we're still we're still rocking and rolling. So Mark said I could dry my inners to my ice boots since I fell through in his dryer. So we're heading towards his house right now. So I just ran back out to the car so I could grab my fly box to show these guys since they're pretty experienced fly fishermen and see what they think about it. So Mark just gifted us with these wireless microphones so our audio ought to get better. So we're really thankful for that. There he is. Two seasons ago, elk, still good, huh? Oh, yeah. And that's the aftermath, guys. Obviously, it was good. All right, so I just ran back out to the truck to grab the St. 
LaCroix fly rod that they sent me and the lamps and liquid by Waterworks Reel 5 weight and Mark's gonna help me set it up for tomorrow. So it's not that I haven't caught fish on a fly rod, I have. I've stripped streamers and got snook and redfish and tarpon and stuff, but this is a new style. So Mark's getting me all dialed for tomorrow and uh, hopefully I can maybe get a personal best. And... So this is a box of flies that Mr. Mark here has tied up. and He's gonna hook me up with something that's been working well over the years. All right, so Mark got me all dialed in and we're gonna hit a lake at 7 a.m. tomorrow for the last part of my Wyoming trip. See if we can get one of these seven to 10 pound monsters that I've been hearing about. We're heading back to the hotel to crash out now. All right, that's lights out. Good morning, guys. We just woke up here for our last morning in Wyoming on this fishing strike mission and we're pretty stoked. We're gonna be going to a lake today that the ice has started to come off. When the ice off happens, the fish get very aggressive and you end up catching big ones and all kinds of uh, aggression. So I've got my fly rod set up that Mr. Mark helped me with last night and I'm just getting ready to open up these brand new boots and a brand new pair of waders that we got hooked up with in Glenwood Springs about a week back. So we're excited to use them. Make sure you guys don't go anywhere and subscribe if you haven't. I got a good feeling we're gonna get a personal best today of fish over 22 inches and over 4.6 pounds, which is our current best. Something tells me we're gonna hit that six and seven pound range today. So there's the waders and here's the boots. We're gonna open them next. So they feel pretty warm, dry, comfortable. So the booties at the end of these bibs go into here and they've got felt or rubber bottoms for wading around and jumping around on slippery rocks. We're gonna pack up the truck with all of our items here at the hotel, basically check out, and then go pick up Mark and head to this ice off lake, hopefully crushing some bigs. I will be throwing my spinning rod and I will be throwing my fly rod. Let's hit the road. All right guys, so Mark says he's ready and waiting, so we gassed up and we're hauling butt and we're gonna be at his house here in five minutes. Alright guys, we have arrived. Let's see what happens here today. I'll be back in a sec. Alright, we haven't had any luck on the spinning rod, so we're gonna try the fly rod next. Haven't had any luck so far, so we're gonna move down a little bit. All right guys, so it's literally colder today than it has been any of the days I've been ice fishing. It's a great gloomy day, it's starting to lightly rain, and there's even snow in the forecast. We haven't had any luck here. We've thrown Rapalas, switched lures, thrown some flies with the dropper. Felt good to go fishing, but I haven't had any strikes and just no action whatsoever. So, I think we might bail. It's kind of cold, hands are cold, the wind's picking up. Might try to find one last little chunk of river to fish. Might go back to where I caught those brown trout and uh, then hit the road back to Colorado. Our Wyoming trip is coming to an end. We've had a great time. We definitely want to thank Mark for inviting us out. And other than that, let's see what else we can bring you before this day is over. All right, so we're getting some rain, guys, and we bailed from that spot, and we're gonna go try one more little spot under a bridge near the river and see if we can't produce. All right, spot number two, guys, walking down this trail. Got our spinning rods, a net, and some camera equipment. We're in position, let's see what this spot holds. So far, I'm happy with these waders and boots. They're working pretty well. Posted up under this bridge. We got a really deep diving Rapala, gold and black. We're gonna see if we can make anything happen here. Nice little hole in the river right here, eight to 10 feet deep. We're 
I spent about 20 to 30 minutes throwing her Apollos. If nothing happens, we're gonna take off back towards Colorado. Benny B's famous last lucky cast. Oh, got one, got one. Fish on. Fish on, guys. Feels like a nice one too, guys. Fish on. Feels like a big one. Last lucky, Benny B's last lucky cast, guys. Oh, it's a big fish. Oh, he's on the piling. Yes, he came around the piling. Big fish, guys, my biggest brown ever. We're just taking our time on him. Oh God. Don't touch your line. Can you get him? Oh, he's in the net, guys. Woo! Last lucky cast. Benny does it. It's a monster, bro. Let's I am so pumped up right now, guys. Thank you so much, Mr. Mark. Put me on the spot. All right, guys, if you want browns like this and experiences like I've had this last couple episodes, you know who to call. This is Mr. Mark Armstrong right here. I'm gonna label his number, his email, the whole thing right underneath. If you can't read it on this card, there's him ice fishing. Here's him in the summer with a big brown. There they are, guys. I'm literally flying above the world right now. So pumped up, guys. We're gonna measure him next. Wyoming. So you gotta squeeze the tail for proper measurement. I'm seeing 25, guys. Yeah. 25 and a half? Yeah. Mark's claiming 25 and a half. 5.3. Yep. That's a beautiful round. All right guys, so I just got my record trout, uh, personal best brown trout, 25 and a half inches and 5.2 pounds. And uh, we're heading to another little chunk of river Mark's taking me to. That train completely stopped on us. So we actually pulled a little Yui and we're on this dirt road mobbing out of there. Bunch of buffalo back here. All right, Mr. Mark and I just stopped for a quick burger on our way to the next drop spot to see if we can catch another fish. All right, so on our way to the next little river bend, we came to check this lake to just see if the ice off happened yet, and it hasn't, but take a look. It's getting very close. So you'll probably see me fall through right about, yep, right about there. All right, guys, this is what I got that brown at at the last spot, that 25 and a half incher. Deep diver, also sinks, it was deep there. I'm actually switching my lure because it's a little shallower here and I don't want to dive as deep. You guys probably remember this spot yesterday and this is what we were catching the browns on, so we're gonna give this a try again. First cast, let's see what happens here. You did? We're getting down and dirty, guys. I don't wanna lose this lure. Although Rapala sent them to me for free, I'm still getting in there for them. Broke off, got in the water, got the lure, retied. Let's see what happens here. Fuck. All right, guys, I'm in about knee deep water, actually in here in this crazy little bush area. And I seem to do really good in this little channel. So I'm gonna see if I can't pull one out against the current right here. Got a fish on, guys. Mr. Mark. He took me down, snagged me up. I'm snagged. So I just got super wrapped in this fence, and look where I'm at, guys. I'm up to my waist in this water. Rapala, you better be stoked. I just went in there for that thing. So Mark and I have both hooked a couple bush trout here. 
Luckily, both of those bush trout let go for me. We did lose one lure to a bush trout. This is this creek right here. It holds a lot of big, bur big bush trout. All right, guys, besides hooking a few bush fish, we didn't have any luck here just now. I did catch a few here yesterday, but I'm heading back to the truck to meet Mark, and I'm not sure what else today holds, but stay tuned and let's find out. We're not done fishing yet. All right, Mark's got another spot in mind. So Mark just showed me the High Plains lakes up here and we're currently on the way back towards his house. I'm gonna drop them off and then I'm gonna get new windshield wipers because you can see these things are mangled. Whoa. Slippery guy. All right guys, my personal best brown trout and I'm up here at Mark's house and I'm getting ready to cut his head off so I can freeze it keep his head my first head hunter collection and possibly put it in some epoxy at some point and uh put it on the wall or something off with his head says the king it's hard all right when you get this fine give it a good shot that shit out of there throat and waste basket well thank you so much for having me out what a great time be careful will do get the wiper blades yep i'm going there right now well look what i came outside to you guys It's all about the adventure, isn't it? I mean, like I said, Mark, he saw my YouTube channel. He watched my videos. He invited me out. I came, we conquered, we crushed it this last 72 hours. You know, I don't even want to leave, but I have to go back to Colorado. You know, I've got a wife and a house and a dog and here we go, heading home. And uh, I won't film much on the way out. So make sure you guys just hit that subscribe like and leave me a comment let me know what you think about this three or four part series of wyoming and uh i appreciate each and every single one of you guys we'll see you guys next week